Neo has been gaining a lot of traction recently. This means a lot more investors have been wanting to put money into Neo and own shares in the company. However, Trading212 only offers Neo on the investor account. As you can see here, I'm on my orange invest account and I own just over 10 shares for £450. However, if I open up the Trading212 ISA account and go and search for Neo, you'll find that it is not listed there to invest into the ISA account. So there is a few reasons for this, but before I get into the video, I just want to ask. Firstly, if you haven't signed up the Trading212 free trade or Coinbase, use the links in the description. You can get up to £300 in free shares and crypto. And also, if you're new here and enjoy the video, please leave a little like and subscribe. Now, to set the scene, around summer, this is posted in August, um, so I think it's late July, August, Trading212 released a email, a notice for people holding ineligible stocks in their ISO account. One of these had to be NEO, and there was more of these listed down here. But basically it says blah blah blah, they were ineligible and there was non-compliant stocks in the ISA. They didn't go into any more detail and explain why you can't hold these stocks in the ISA. So I've done a bit of digging and I searched up stocks and shares and why some are avail aren't available in the ISA. Now this took me to a money saving expert. So you can see the title of this thread is Stocks and Shares ISAs Beware of Chinese Shares Listed on the New York, New York Stock Exchange. So this is quite specific to NEO being a Chinese company. So I scrolled down, done some digging, and you can see here Alibaba was one of them. They had the ticker symbol on there. And there's a lot of different companies that you can't find. So I found this post here and it mentioned a thing called ADR or ADS. They are probably ADR or ADS if traded on the New York Stock Exchange. So I questioned me, so what is this? So people down here are saying you can only hold ADRs in an ISA if the underlying security is listed on a recognized exchange. So it still doesn't explain what the ADR is. So I've done this. I Googled it. So this is quite obvious, I inappropriately or misspelled bad grammar, what is stock ADR means? And it come up with this, American Depository Receipts. So this offers US investors a means to gain investment exposure to non-US stocks without the complexities of dealing in foreign stock markets. This is still quite confusing, it gets quite technical. So basically you don't, you own the holding company and you can own shares in it. But the tax complications means it's not available in the ISA for HMRC tax purposes. But this doesn't explain why it's not for NEO. So again, I looked up a bit further and it says NEO is a holding company. So it's an ADR, it's basically a company whose sole existence is Axa Bridge that owns shares of NEO on the actual Asian market. And again, so what does this mean? So we have ADRs and AIM stocks in the ISA, how they're taxed. And what it's saying is where you own this company or you buy this stock or share, you're not investing in the New York Stock Exchange where it says it's listed, you are investing in ADR. However, why the ADR is listed on the New York Stock Exchange, its holding company is in a stock exchange unrecognized by HMRC. So this is where it says here, you can go, there's loads of links and stuff you can go to. But I went on to the recognized stock exchanges section on the HMRC, HMRC website. So this is where you can see all the eligible stocks and shares listings and stock exchanges. And as you can see here, it has all the different countries where you can do it. And there are a lot missing. And these are prim primarily in India and Asia, China and countries like that, or continents, either Asia, where stock exchanges aren't recognized by the HMRC and because of the tax complications. So to sum it up, the reason why you can't buy NEO and other stocks and shares on an ISA is because they trade outside of HMRC's um, quote unquote jurisdiction. They don't it confuses the taxes too much and they're done through a thing called the ADR, which is basically you own, so this words it really nicely here. So you own a company whose sole existence is acts as a bridge that owns on actual shares of NEO. I was reading through the Trading212 forum and it actually said that the NEO holding parent company essentially is located in the Cayman Islands, which like I said, will not be listed as a suitable stock exchange for the HMRC tax purposes, which is why you can't invest in an ISA. So if you want to buy NEO and any of the other shares listed below here, I've, like I said, they're mainly ch Chinese, you will have to invest in them through the investor account, which means you will be subject to capital gains and dividend taxes um, if you're investing through the UK. So I hope that video helps on why you can't buy some stocks and shares in an ISA. Um, if you have any other questions about 212, or any other kind of stock exchange, I'll be able to look it up and help you. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and thanks for watching.